Hey everyone, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and we are back walking through what happens when your credit spread expires. So as you can see, for those of you who have been following along my NVIDIA play, I now have $1,031 in cash right here along with all of my current options. The reason that I'm highlighting this is because yesterday at close I did not have this cash. In fact, if you recall my last video, I only had a couple of dollars in here. So what happens when your options expire, in particular credit spread? So if we look at the NVIDIA option that I played, if we look at this information, you can see that over the course of the past week, I bought that option the day before earnings, right before close. That option declined in value throughout the day and then earnings happened and we saw that that IV got deteriorated. There was very low likelihood that the stock price was going to go below 340 which is kind of the limit I set on one of my options and as it expired at the end of the day it said hey I have that cash value option that was expected so what that actually looks like if we're looking at the actual play there is I sold two credit spreads so I am buying and selling puts where I'm getting credited you can see right here $91 for one $133 for the other and then what they're doing is they're holding that excess cash in reserve or in collateral. So what does that actually look like? So if we go and we look at some of the options, which you'll notice that from my earlier video this week, these options premiums have dropped dramatically. Again, the reason for that is because we're not seeing a large increase in that premium associated with the expectation that we're going to go into earnings season. So that being said, what we were doing is we were buying and selling puts. So if we were going to do this for earlier in the week, and I said that I was going to buy a put for the stock price at 350, I would then sell a put. And there's two different things that we could do here. If I were to sell the one right above it, you can see that I'm actually getting paid. This would end up being $73. However, if I were to sell the one below it, this would cost. So this is what's known as a debit spread. And again, we've had other videos on those. I'm going to highlight the credit spread. So if you were to buy this, you would get paid immediately $73 that you could then utilize. However, when you're clicking on this, I'm actually going to click on a little bit more broad one so that we can showcase what happens when you have a, you need that cash collateral. So if I were to click on this, I hit review. I have a wide bid ask spread. Of course they do. So let's say $4. And then I would be able to put through this. However, you can see that it would require $1,000 of collateral, but I would be getting $400 for this. So the way that this calculated collateral or this collateral is calculated is it's taking the difference or how much it would cost to fulfill both of these orders. So that's how that is calculated. So what I did for this exercise is I actually didn't purchase one with such a high spread. Rather, I purchased two that were farther down. So at the time we were hovering around 358 and I was down at 340. And then so I was purchasing one and you could see a spread like this. So I got the $48, it held the collateral. If it had finished under 340, then I would have started losing money, but I still had that premium. If it went below 325, which was my second credit spread, I would have lost a lot of money. However, what happens when it doesn't? So if it, finish, if it finishes above 340, nothing happens in terms of these options. You just get to keep that premium. So this is what I did for NVIDIA. Now, the question or the next step from that is what happens when it is fulfilled. So what will happen is when you have this NVIDIA contract, these are going to hold value throughout the week, these puts. Or if it's longer than a week, it'll hold value up until expiration. Then they will be zero. What will happen is it'll then say the status right here will change to options submitted to clearinghouse and you'll have to wait and generally speaking it'll be fulfilled the next morning and nothing will change but you'll see that cash that had been held in collateral 
then get deposited in your account like you see here. So that is what happens when you have a credit spread expire. That is the play that we made with NVIDIA. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions or would like to see anything else. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.